Scientific research from start to finish. Scientific research is an exciting and complex journey involving several steps, which can at times be very different. Let's take a closer look at how a research project is born. Work with existing research. Each research project begins with analysing existing knowledge and studying research articles. A researcher with a curious mind always has questions that require further investigation. The majority of the scientific community is also driven by an ever-growing need for solutions to the challenges facing society. This includes alleviating unexpected epidemics or halting the loss of biodiversity. Emergence of research questions and hypotheses. Studying previous research articles gives rise to new ideas on how to fill the gaps in existing knowledge. So I propose a hypothesis or a scientific assumption that will either be confirmed or contradicted by further research. Data collection. To find answers to the questions raised, we will draw up an action plan and start collecting data. This can be done in a number of ways. For example, social scientists may conduct interviews with people, and natural scientists might collect samples from nature. Researchers sometimes also ask for help with gathering data. When this help comes from members of the public, it can be called citizen science. The cowslip campaign was one of such occasions where scientists invited people to help with collecting data. Data analysis. Once data is gathered, it must be analysed. There are many possibilities for this as well. First, data must be organised and then a statistical analysis can be conducted. The results of the analysis also need to be interpreted and the obtained results considered in the light of the questions originally posed. From results to a manuscript. When analyses are completed, we arrange the results into a draft or a manuscript of a research article. A research article is a thorough overview of prior findings on the studied topic, steps taken during research work, results obtained, and the significance of these results. Every word written down must be well thought out, unambiguous and accurate, so that other groups of researchers could repeat the experiment or observation if necessary. Scientific discussion. Once the initial manuscript is completed, it is submitted to a scientific journal, where its suitability for the journal will be considered and the quality of the research evaluated. The scientific journal sends the manuscript to other researchers in the same field, who, after a thorough analysis of the manuscript, give their opinion on whether it should be published, revised, or rejected altogether. However, Almost no scientific manuscript is ever so ideal that it could be published immediately. The evaluations by other researchers, together with the opinion and decision of the editor of the scientific journal, are returned to the authors of the manuscript, who will make any necessary changes, conduct additional analyses, and return the revised version to the journal. Often the manuscript is then sent to additional researchers for evaluation, or is rejected by the journal. Therefore, the scientific discussion can last for months, and sometimes even over a year. Publication of the article. If all goes well, other researchers will also find that our research and the respective article are good enough to be published in a scientific journal. If that is the case, the article will go through the final editing, and the research paper is published. The rest of the world will hear of our research. Use of the new knowledge to solve everyday problems. Ideally, the results of the research article can be used to make decisions about our lives. For example, the cowslip data provides information on how the plant species inhabiting our biodiversity hotspots, meadows, are doing. The proportion of different types of cowslips helps predict the status of biodiversity at the observation site before habitat loss forces the cowslips and other species out of the area. This knowledge helps us take steps for maintaining biodiversity before it's too late. Finish and a new start. The published research article is often an important input for the research community in the emergence of new research questions which creates a basis for new scientific experiments. And so, the cycle of doing science continues. 
from a new start to the next intermediate finish.